When I was 18, my father took me sailing for the first time and I fell in love with the, uh, with the whole sport. And ever since then, I've loved everything to do with the sea. And it's always fantastic to be involved in ship design. You just get passionate about them, I guess. I really believe that the experience of going on edge will be very different and very exciting for, for passengers that are used to a normal cruise liner. It is going to be a paradigm shift in cruise design. You've probably seen this building before. It's the Burj Al Arab, or the Tower of Arabs. It's one of the tallest hotels in the world, and in the late 90s became the most iconic landmark of Dubai. It's been featured as a key backdrop in many mainstream pop culture and sporting moments. How did the Burj Al Arab become one of Dubai's most iconic buildings? In the early 90s, Dubai was booming and seeing a lot of rise in global prominence, but it was missing something, an iconic landmark, something recognizable like the Sydney Opera House, Eiffel Tower, or the Petronas Twin Towers. Those buildings add so much personality to the city skyline and make it instantly recognizable. Without them, the skylines would lack character and charm. Dubai tasked global design firm Atkins with a simple but intimidating brief. Build an icon for a country. And the design should shock, innovate, and amaze the guests. Tom Wright, the Burj's architect, had a theory. We decided that if you could draw a building simply with a few strokes of a pen, and it was instantly recognizable, you'd created something that was iconic. Tom looked into Dubai's history for inspiration. He looked at tents, pearls, and even oil for inspiration. He loved the traditional wind towers, but felt their shape wasn't dynamic enough. He also liked the traditional Dow sail, but it was too reminiscent of the Dubai Yacht and Golf Club, which had already achieved a prominent design status. The team struggled to combine these ideas until they saw a group of people sailing on Dubai's beaches. The shape of the modern sail. Perfectly dynamic and emblematic of Dubai's history with the sea. Tom had to present the concept to Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. He presented this sketch and this cardboard model. Sheikh Mohammed walked out of that meeting and said, let's build it. The UK team set up shop in Dubai. Construction was to start immediately. In 1993, this was the largest construction project in the world. Due to the unique architecture and exoskeleton design, the hotel had to go through some very unusual testing. A scale model was used to make sure that the waves wouldn't damage the hotel. Wind tunnel testing was carried out to avoid vortex shredding, which is when certain wind conditions potentially act as a small tornado. There were concerns over earthquakes, which were mitigated by installing 215 concrete piles Today, the Burj Al Arab is not the tallest hotel in the world. It's actually the seventh tallest. It competes head-to-head -head with the Burj Khalifa as the most iconic design in Dubai. It still remains a symbol of incredible design innovation and paved the way for further creative and extraordinary architectural design in Dubai.